Okay, so for this question, uh, it's about dual decay. C chaff H26. And this compound is cracked, producing three products uh, molecules, X, Y, Z. Okay, X is a straight chain alkene. Y and Z, they are straight chain alkenes with different molar mass. Very important, this one. Okay, which statements are correct? Okay, so if Y and Z are built one in and eating, so X will be hexane, of course. Lah. Okay, we have to make sure after we add all the uh, hydrocarbon, okay, the carbon number must be 12, hydrogen number must be 26. Okay, so since I already told you Y and Z is built one in, and it didn't. So this one is the built one in and it didn't. Okay, so the X will be hexane, of course. After you use C chop H26 minus this and this part, of course you get C6 H14. Okay, so the first one correct. Okay, second. If X is built in, then X, uh, sorry, Y and Z could both show cis trans. Both show cis trans. Okay, this statement of course is wrong. If the X is a built in, so means the remaining C and H is this. So means 12 minus 4, 26 minus 10. So the remaining is C8H16. Okay, so this C8H16, okay, it need to form two different alkene. Okay, let's say now it's form the propene, and another one must be pentene, isn't it? Because the carbon number total must be eight. Okay, so it cannot be four. La. If it's four means uh they have same molar mass. Because in this statement it says different molar mass for the uh this uh, uh x and uh sorry the y and z y and z uh, y and z okay the straight chain alkene it cannot have the same Okay, molar mass. Okay, so if cannot be four each, then it will be three five. If it's three, then it's form this one again. If it's five, then it can form this. Uh, if it's five carbon alkene C five H ten, uh, then it can form this structure. Okay, this C has two different groups C, okay, sorry C H three, and here got another H. Right, okay, two different group. This carbon also two different group, but one hydrogen and one ethyl. Okay, this carbon also one group, and here got another H. Okay, this carbon also got one H and one ethyl group. Okay, so therefore C five H ten can form cis trans. Yes, but it still cannot really meet the requirement because, uh, this one, in the second statement, it say that. Could both show cis trans. Okay, so this statement is wrong because cis trans just able to show by this C five H ten. Okay, so part two done ready. So means means uh the second statement is wrong. The first one is correct. Okay, the last statement X could be obtained. Mm, if it's obtained means uh okay C chaff H twenty six need to minus C8H18 then it can only form the alkene with the same carbon and hydrogen which is 18 if it's C4H8 remain it just can form this okay so it's form two molecules of this alkene so that's why it cannot be obtained if X is obtained, then it cannot really meet this requirement, different molar mass. That's why the last one also wrong.
Okay, only the first one correct. Okay, so this one we okay, we give it D. Just first correct is D. Thank you.